Hello and welcome to Boktai 2 Solid Boy Jungle. It's a Game Boy game that has a really special feature utilizing a solar sensor that collects light and the lights affects gameplay. So it's a, a pretty unique game I would say. I don't think it's actually that popular in the in the world I guess. But uh, it's a, I like this game quite a lot. Um, I discovered this game when I was um, when we when I bought like um, what do you call it? When I bought a, a gaming magazine, and then uh, there's a walkthrough for this game, and the art style and the weapons kind of draw me in and makes me want to play. And then the, especially the solar sensor attracts me to want to get this game. So let's get started. So that's mine. Oh, start from the beginning. Mm, yeah, we can enter a Boktai password. So if we enter a password, it kind of uh, gives us an advantage at the start. So let's search for one. Okay, so let's go with the king. Um, let's see, NM, question mark. So this password is actually from the first Boktai game. You complete the game depending on the rank or what you did. The achievement you did, you get the password at the end. Where you can uh, input here. And you get where stats or starting items. And for king, it's like um, it's a rank S, and you get what was that? Uh, and then you get all plus one to all stats, and then two items, two extra items, which um, I guess is not as it's kind of average. It's giving us a small boost on everything. Then we can kind of customize when we are playing the game according to what we want. I'll most likely dump everything on strength. So, so not not everything at strength first. Um, couple of um, yeah, let me just do this. Couple of um, stats on agility, or vitality, everything, and then at the end, I'll most likely dump everything onto strength, just to get the extra. Oop, not this one. Extra punch in our attacks. C, small w, and hashtag, is that an I or is that, I'm confused, it'd be sad if that's an uh, okay I'm gonna go with L, M, J, and this one, whoops, Maybe this one is a big eye. Is that a big eye? Oh, well, they don't have it. I made a mistake. Let me see. And then question mark S D M J Z Bam L N N D A plus three. Oops. This is a big Z right here. Whoop! Still mess it up. Where did I mess up? E -W -M, hashtag L M Big J Oh here Okay, there you go So we'll just go with the default name I guess Jungle <laughs> Right there Okay When sun and moon retreat into darkness, grand twilight descends on the wedge binding city of the sun. A deep shadow is then born in its wake. The beginning of the end. Must have think. It's not far now. 
pass through this valley and you will finally arrive at the city of the sun, San Miguel, or rather the city of death that the hometown has been turned into by the undeadening curse of the Dark Immortals. I thought the undeadening would abate with the queen defeated, but I feel it with my solar sense. The undead still roam there, dark servants, strip of life and strip of death and the immortal shadow that manipulates them all. Let's go, Solar Boy Jungle. Dispel the dark clouds that shroud the city of the sun. As you can see the oh. As you can see the um the bar at the bottom which is the sun. Since I'm playing on the emulator, I don't have the solar sensor, we can kind of control this with uh what is it again? L Yeah, there you go. Left, Whoop. San Miguel's north, head for the top right of the screen. So I can kind of control the sun bar using the uh, uh, L and the direction. Huh. Is that a hint panel over there? Hint panels are guides for adventures left by those who have gone before. They give you useful info for your adventure and tips for overcoming obstacles. To read the panel, move close to it and press the A button. It'll do you no harm to find out what it says. At least you become lost on your chosen path. Know that north is to the top right, south is the bottom left. If it's east is bottom right and west is to the top left of the screen. Cool cool cool. Be aware of danger ahead. Hold the R button R button and use the control pad to look around and check the surrounding area. Okay, we can do this, so we can look forward. I think it's kind of uh, this game is kind of considered as like a stealth game. There's some stealth mechanics in this game, and we can fire our weapons with B. We can aim around, just like that. You can see when I fire the, this gun is like it's firing sunlight energy. So when I fire it, it shows the light shows where the spider webs are. But we are currently really OP right now, so. Resignation is the angel of death. When you are caught in a spider web or by some other enemy or its trap, get away as fast as possible by rapidly moving the control pad. Let's we'll defeat all foes. Attack with the B button. Press the button to prepare your weapon, release it to attack. So this is basically um, the end of the of the first game I think so that's that's why we are we have a really strong weapon right now. Know the power of the sun rays. The solar gauge at the bottom center of the screen shows the amount of sunlight that is hitting the solar sensor. Uh -huh. So this gun actually uses solar energy which is the bar beneath our energy. But because we have sunlight right now so it's been like charging also, you can see our, our characters are like slightly um, brighter now. If I go all around here, uh, cutting out the sun, you can see our characters are looking like this. And if I shoot now, you can see um, our bar is not filled up this time. It's slowly de uh, decreasing. Come on, spider, we'll get you. Like that. You notice like um. The damage is higher there, 270 something, instead of like the 100, oh, come on, 185, because it's a back attack. That's where the, one of the stealth mechanics, I guess. Know the limits of your existence. The life gauge at the top left shows how much of your life has been exhausted. The more damage you receive from an enemy's attack, the faster your life is used up. If it reaches zero, it's goodbye and game over. Be wise and use items early to restore your life. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, let me get the sun up a bit. Know the limits of your solar energy. The energy gauge at the top, top left shows how much of your solar energy has been used. The solar gun is a magic machine that consumes energy to fire solar shots. If its energy falls to zero, it can't fire anymore. It needs a solar charge to restore its energy again. When you're outdoors and the, uh, and the solar sensor is in sunlight, the energy will recharge naturally. And by holding down the A button, you can energize it with a rapid charge. Cool, cool, cool. 
You got a map A. The green chest is mostly map items, I remember. Be aware of what's around and prepare yourself for anything. On the menu screen, you can check things like the map and your status. Press start to get to the menu screen. Then use the L button and R button to choose between the various menus. Press the B button to go back to the action. Oh, let's see. So we have the map. We have the items. This items will, this fruit items will um, break if we stay under the sunlight for too long. If we, are, we got exposed to sunlight for too long, so. And these things, these are the things we got from our title. And this thing doesn't break. But they restore way less health than the fruits. Oh, coffin. You guys will know what is used for next. And this is our, um, our status. You can see instead of 10, we have 11 on all stats because of king. Cool, cool, cool. Level 1. Stuff like that. Blah, blah, blah. Attack speed fast. Marker on. Yeah, that's good. Use the items you gather to your advantage. Press the A button next to the treasure box boxes to open them. Using obtained items is to be done on the menu screen. You can only hold a certain number of items at once. Don't waste items, but also make wise use of them. Items are meant to be used. Ah! Spider webs are definitely annoying. And this is some of the puzzle... Um, Puzzle... What do you call this? Push your way through. Puzzle... Puzzle mechanics in the game. To push mover blocks such as root blocks, press and hold the control pad when you're facing the block. Something we can do this. We push it away. Flatten up. In collapsed passages and other places where there's an only a narrow footing, you can get through by flattening yourself up against the wall. Hold on the control pad towards the wall to flatten out against it. Keep the control pad held down to move or flatten. So we can do this. Face to the wall. So this also eliminates uh, our uh, our footsteps. So we can sneak past some of those blind enemies. Oh. Man in the hat. Careful, haste. Yes, there's no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. He's one of the immortals, a vampire. <laughs> the soul, solar gun, the solar gun, gun the soul. <laughs> Gundal Soul. I don't, really don't know how to read that. He took the solar gun? Still, it's no use to him. Only a solar child can operate the solar gun. It's useless in the hands of a vampire. Django! But how? Why would a vampire? Django? Uh, uh. The dangers pass. For now. But I can't believe it. A vampire that can use the solar gun. Maybe he's a dark cloud covering San Miguel. Jungle. What's done is done. You can't change the past. But it doesn't mean that the future is decided. What you do right now, that's what will determine the future. Remember the blood and soul that rests in your crimson scarf. Something like this would ne never have knocked your father's spirits. Let's go, Django. You should find some clues in San Miguel. You must track down that vampire and retrieve, <laughs> retrieve the solar gun. So from what I've gathered from playing all this ga uh, the, the Boktai game, this specific one, it's um... Our whole family line is like a legendary vampire hunters? Not really vampires, but like evil hunters, I, I guess. So his surface then, the solar boy Django. As just a kid, how could he have defeated the queen, let alone the count? As a first game. Don't underestimate him. The blood of both the sun and the moon runs in his veins. 
and await the queen. No, hell. Simply return to her rightful place. Right then, I must get on while there's nothing in the way. Sleeping beauty awaits her wake up kiss. You're in charge of stopping the boy. Okay. What would you like me to do about the vessel? Let it do as it pleases for now. Until its entire soul sinks into darkness? <laughs> what do I have a question about behind it? Until its entire soul sink into darkness. Doctor 2. Behold the city of sun of the sun, San Miguel. But now it is truly the city of death. Huh? Is that Amidst the darkness, I sense a faint glimmer of life. Could there be something alive in there that escaped the undeadening? So now we only have our uh, um, weak ass punch, super short range. But interesting enough, um, this punch actually, as you can see on the skill, it actually has its own like. Um, A skill level, so the more you use it, you can raise it. And at a certain point, you can, um, you can, what do you call it? You can, you can gain like a secret item. All right, six skylights and use them to advantage. Indoors where the sun's rays cannot reach. Solar charging will not work even if the solar sensor is getting light. But under a skylight, the sun rays can be used for solar charging. Also, undead monsters are weakened by sunlight, so they can be damaged by the rays of light coming through a skylight. You can see this one, this is a sunlight. So if we are low on energy, we can suck. We can then recharge our sunlight here. And if... As you can see, if, I, uh, if there's no sunlight, the sun rays are gone. So this is what makes the game unique. This is its uh, own niche, I guess you can say. So we can do this. Knock on the wall. Guy we went to go over, and then we can trigger the light back on. It's kind of cheating, but not really, because you can actually do this with the solar sensor if you are playing it on the Game Boy Advance. Let's see, and uh, you can um, cover the light, make the zombies go over, and then you um, expose the sensor again. Hit the walls. Both with keen hearing, we come towards areas where they heard a noise. Knock on walls to lure enemy monsters to where you want them. To hit a wall, press the A button where you're flattened against it, which is what we just did. Let me decrease the sunlight a bit to like 3. Because we don't want our fruit to like, uh, to broke down real quick. Huh. This tile looks a bit different, but never really noticed that. Cool. Trap. Defeat the skeletons. So in this kind of room, right? Like, uh, there's an objective you have to, you have to follow, to escape the trap. Ah, the Gradius. It's a type of sword I see. It's nothing compared to the solar gun, but it's better than using your bare hands. It can purify the undead without the power of the sun. But skeletons are material type mortal monsters with physical form. So you can get rid of them for a while by destroying their bodies. It's all up to you now, jungle. So, now we have a weapon. Know your weapons. You can check your weapons and change equipment on the menu screen. Current weapon is shown at the bottom right of the action screen. Cool, cool, cool. You can change our weapon by doing select and then using the right or left trigger. Yes, see what we can do. Then we want to hit him from the back for extra damage. Now he doesn't see us. Bam, bam. Whoop, he saw us. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. Level up. Brilliant Django. The X points go up when you defeat monsters. When they reach a certain point, you'll be able to level up. By allocating the status points you can get when you level up, you can enhance some of your stats. There are 4 stats you can uh, enhance. Vitality which affects life gauge, uh, life gauge capacity. Spirit which affects your energy gauge capacity. Strength. 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 
<laughs> Excuse me. Strength. Strength, which affects your attack power, and agility, which affects your movement speed, and your power to defend. You can allocate your points on the menu screen status menu. Even if you level up, your stats won't be enhanced unless you allocate points. So don't forget to do it. So let's do it. We got three status points. So let's see. <clears throat> Most likely at the early age of vitality is fine, so let's dump it in uh, movement and defense. Attack power definitely. You know what? Let's dump it in uh, vitality too. Ooh. Approach from behind. If an enemy spots you, it will attack without fail. A sight-oriented foes won't attack if you don't enter their field of vision. If you approach them from behind, you can pass by them without a fight. You can also inflict serious damage on them by attacking them from behind. Oh, it's coming here. Interesting. So let's just run by, grab this stuff, get the map, let's keep going. Uh -huh. Protect yourself. You can reduce the damage you sustain if you equip a protector. Check the protectors you have and change equipment on the menu screen. Grab this. So now we have a protector. Let's equip that thing. There you go. So for cloth armor. Some of this has like a special qualities. Right, durability 15, weight 10, armor made of leather. Wait, wait a minute. <laughs> I did not equip it. There you go. Keep going then. I think we're slower. Yeah. Are we? It is slightly heavier, like five. I guess so. I guess it feels slightly more clunky, clunkier. Don't find him. Not really. Let's just go past him. Trap. Defeat the zombies. So this is like an event, like a, we have to try to attack it a few times. But as you can see, we did no zero damage. There you go. Hit it a few times, trigger the event. Magical girl. No, no, no! Zombies are undead monsters. You can't defeat them without the sun's power. I think because like, uh, it's a translation. They they give her a... Southerner girl's accent. What were you thinking, eh? The solar boy losing, losing the solar gun. Jeez. Don't disgrace the title of king, alright? Which is uh, the title we, <laughs> we input, which is kind of cool. We could totally put like the lowest lowest rank. Never tried that before, but I think she'll mock us most likely. <laughs> eh? You crying? Crying, are ya? Think crying's gonna help? Even if it's raining cats and dogs. <laughs> Here, I'll lend you this. I'll just cheer up, okay? I like the sprites, guys. You got a soul device. That's definitely one of the um, the screenshots I saw on the magazine that makes me want to play the game. The the design of the characters just looks so good. That gloves the soul device. Dev, uh, I think it's Latin. You can add the property of enchantment to any weapon by using the sun's power. It's one amazing machine, machine ma <laughs> magic machine. But for the enchantment, you're gonna need different types of moonlight magic. Huh? How come a solar ma machine needs moonlight magic, you ask? <laughs> I like the zombies also like dot dot dot. <laughs> it's not that I don't know, I surely do. Don't worry. Don't worry about all those details, just use it. Eh? Can't use magic. You really ain't kind up for all this. You sure you're the solar boy? Sure you can use easy stuff like enchantment soul, eh? Alright, I'm doing you I'm doing you some bloody favors. Bloody enough to please them vampires. Ready? You ready? You learn the moonlight magic enchantment soul. Listen up, okay? To use magic, you gotta equip the stuff first on the menu screen. And you equip 
magic shows up at the bottom left of the screen, okay? You can switch enchantment magic on and off using the L button. When you attack using a weapon with enchantment on, the attack becomes a property attack, okay? Magic lowers your ener energy, so watch yourself and don't forget solar charging. Rest is up to you, okay? <laughs> okay. I'm going to the mall. Don't be long, alright? <laughs> oh, I really like that. Is that please? You can see, boom, boom, from zero to forty-two. So like that's like weakness as as well. So that's moonlight magic in the soul device device, yeah. Well, you will be able to purify the undead with it. You still have much to learn before facing immortals, but we can't be picky. But goodness, that girl and the way she talks. She says she'll be waiting at the mall. Go to the Sun Avenue in the heart of the city. Carry on to the North Jungle. Let's turn this off. Oh, cool. So you've ventured outside. Let me explain, Jungle. You need sunlight to restore your energy. But if you are exposed to very strong sunlight or are outside for too long, you run the risk of overheating both the soul device and yourself. If this happens, obviously you won't be able to carry on with your adventure. So if you see the overheat alert appears over the uh, solar gauge, make sure you get into the shade and rest for a while. Got it? This is like more like a, a real life, for real life um, precaution, precaution thingy. So like kids when they're playing outside the sun, when they're trying to get as much sun as possible. So you don't overheat, you're gonna get a heat stroke. Which is honestly really cool. This is something we cannot go yet. So let's ignore that. The sound you hear before the Ew! and then boosh is because like um I have sunlight turned on in the night when the zombie roam uh, when the zombies are roaming. So they kind of get got killed by the sunlight. Which shouldn't happen right now. <laughs> because it's the night, you know? Fade it. Move we'll past it. We don't really need to walk here, but what the hell. And this is the mall. You know what? Let's turn off the sunlight. See the little details? The little girl uh, ran behind her? Very nice. Huh. Made a ditcha. Squeet? Squirt? <laughs> Squirt, what? I suppose you're a solar boy. Hey, take care of the rental fee for the soul device in the solar bank, okay? Yeah, what a million should do it. The what? Got no cash? Oh, that's just typical. No, ain't it? Anyway, I reckon this will help you out. You can borrow energy whenever you want. But watch out, because you have to pay it back, okay? Better use it carefully. Go ask over at Dark Lones if you want to know more, alright? You got the Dark Card! Ah, that way you speak, it's so familiar. If I'm not mistaken, Sunflower Girl, isn't it? And your Master Otenko, Messenger of the Sun? It's, all, it's an honor to meet you. I'm the Star Reader Zazi. Sunflower Girl is the name... <laughs> is the name the old... Uh, I mean the mistress used in her youth. Not that I can begin to imagine the old, uh, the mistress at my age. She saved the world with Red Ringo, the strongest vampire hunter. I came here because of her star reading to see the end of the world for myself. The end of the world? Is that what she predicted? That's right. That's right. When sun and moon retreat into darkness. Grand twilight descends on the wedge binding city of the sun. A deep shadow is then born in its, in its wake. The beginning of the end. Hmm. That vampire. What on, what on earth is going on this, in this place? And what could be that deep shadow be? Oh yeah. The solar boy, so you should be able to help me out. 
while his grunge went off looking for some something something but he ain't come back see now we can't be letting a little kid like this be all upset right so how's about you uh, go off and bring the old man back hey okay? yeah who's this little girl amazing that she survived through all the undeadening in this place probably thanks to the city of sun's barrier i don't know though Violet's Graham is the one to ask about all that. That old man happens to be still Smith, you know? Smith? Is still alive? Oh yeah. That's why you've got you gotta go and save him. Alright? Still Smith. He used to be an excellent gunsmith. People call him the gunmaster. He's the man that taught your fun father Ringo, the great when <laughs> I can't speak right now. The great vampire hunter about guns. Be sure to have some idea about what's causing all these strange things around here. Going by my star reading, he headed to the cathedral. Just northwest of here. Of course, I'll go there myself. Myself. Right, I'm supposed to be watching the barrier, see? The barrier that protects this here city of suns getting weaker, I tell ya. I don't know how much I can do to help, but I'll be trying my best at any rate. Look. That's... Solar gun lens flame. We found it a while ago. Hey Zango, was it? Go on and take it as payment for saving her grams. With that you'll be able to use enchantment flame, got it? You retrieve the solar gun lens flame. You learn the moonlight magic enchantment flame. If that lens was just lying around, does that mean he's close? But first things first. We'll better find Smith. Come on, Django, let's head for the cathedral. Okay, as this is a good place to stop, we just finished the tutorial stage. And next up, we're going to go to cathedral, cathedral, cathedral to save the little girl's uh, grandpa, Steve Smith. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.